Yeah, hi there. These comments are for H.W. This is Michael. I am the founder, owner, and the materials writer of all of your lessons at Stealth, the seven-step system to pass the TOEFL IBT. I just listened to your pronunciation pretest, and I want to do two things, maybe three things. Uh, first of all, I want to recommend which lessons I think you can focus on the most in order to make the maximum Im improvement that you seek. Uh, here they are. Lesson number 9, 10, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 20, and also lesson number 24. Number 2, I want to give you an intelligibility score now on a scale of 1 to 7, 7 being a native speaker and 1 being a beginner speaker of English. I'm going to put you at about 3.0 out of 7. Uh, you have low intermediate speaking abilities. One of the things I noticed when you're answering the questions in part B is you had a lot of awkward pauses and hesitations. I also felt you're a little bit limited with your grammar and your vocabulary which are preventing you from fully expressing your ideas. Uh, so that's the reason I gave you the score 3.0 and it's fairly difficult to understand what you're saying because of your heavy non-native speaker accent. So uh, number three, let me give you some recommendations as to what you can do to continue to make improvements in your speaking and pronunciation of American English. And I would make this a priority. You have a lot of problems uh, being understood. It's going to be difficult for your professors for your classmates to understand you. So you want to take drastic steps immediately to begin making improvements. All right, so I suggest watch uh, as much TV as you can during the evenings, maybe on, on the weekends. Uh, not Thai TV, but English TV. You want to watch news programs, history programs, documentary programs, maybe science programs. That's going to be very useful. Uh, find as many opportunities as you can to speak English to native speakers. Maybe you can go to church on Sundays. You can uh, meet with native speakers then. Uh, maybe you can join a club on campus and then you can meet native speakers there. But the bottom line is you need to speak as much English as you can with native speakers. That's very, very important for you right now. Now, as you're going through my videos, my pronunciation videos, you'll notice that there are some practice exercises at the end of each video. Uh, you'll be reading some sentences and some paragraphs. Make sure you complete those practice exercises. There's at least two practice exercises at the end of each video, and the purpose of those exercises is to reinforce the sounds you're learning in the lesson. Now, I also recommend, highly recommend, HW, is to read out loud with me as I teach you the information in the videos. This is a process called tracking, and it's a great way to work on your tone, your rhythm, your pace, your pausing, and all the other areas important to helping you sound more like a native speaker. Now, obviously, like I said in the beginning of the video, your speaking is a little bit limited because of your grammar and your vocabulary. So it's probably a good idea for you to also begin studying the vocabulary and the grammar sections of my course. That's going to be very, very important for you. All right, anyway, have a great day and thank you for completing the pretest.